In this video, I'm reviewing the Cardus ear speakers. These have recently come to market and Cardus has been working on these for a number of years. I believe they were announced like two years ago or something like that. And finally they've hit the market. And I have to say right off the bat that I'm very impressed with these uh, in-ear monitors, these earbuds, they're really good. And I'll talk about that in this video. So uh, these are them on the right. And then on the left is the box that they come in. And on the back here, it says ear mirror design the hearing system, musical chords, and these ear speakers are reflections of the golden ratio. EM5813 mirrors the human cochlea and tympanic membrane. Natural fit system. The ultra thin, the ultra thin tips have a precise, comfortable fit. Enjoy the transfixing musicality. A lot of that is probably hype. And you know, as you open this in the instructions, there's probably more hype. Uh, but I have to say, you know, while these do have some hype associated with the marketing with them, uh, they are still, you know, quite good uh, earbuds. So this is the box of the command. This is the manual here. And it just talks about the speakers and stuff. I'm not going to read the whole thing for you. But, um, you know, this section is the overview of the speakers. And then down here it talks about um, the uh, little ear tips that they come with, which I will show you. And then it also talks about maintenance and breaking these in and how to store them as well. The general part here on the left, it basically says that um, they've, they designed these from the ground up. Every aspect of the uh, Cardus ear speakers is built to mirror the human hearing system. The Cardus ear speakers are efficient, natural, and musical, and are the result of years of meticulous design by George Cardus. Also, these incorporate what they call a Cardus Clear Light cable, which is kind of like the Cardus Clear cable for headphones and, you know, inter RCA interconnects, except it's a light version uh, specifically for in ear monitors. Then you've got a nice leather carrying case here, uh, which I sort of like. It seems pretty sturdy. It's got some nice stitching here. And then the way that you open this is you just kind of push on it like this, and it's got like a sort of a magnetic closure like that. Uh, now the earbuds themselves, this is a very small pouch, so the earbuds themselves hardly fit in here. Um, they don't fit in real well. Maybe as the cord loosens up or something like that over time, maybe they'll fit in better, but I have found that it's quite a tight fit. So that's one thing to be aware of. But this is sort of a nice touch and, um, you know, comes with them. So it's a, that's quite nice. You've got uh, some other ear tips here and Oddly enough, they don't come with different size ear tips. They just come with one size. So both the white ones that are come on the uh, ear monitors and the blue ones are the exact same size. The main difference is these blue ones have a little port in them, which is supposed to lower the bass a little bit. So it just depends on your preference for what kind of sound you like. Uh, if you want to lower the bass a little bit, then use these because these are actually ported, whereas those are not. That's the main difference between the ear tips. Then also in the box, you've just got a little cleaner here to clean the earwax uh, out of them. And then nothing under here. So overall a good presentation. I also contacted Cardis and they don't sell replacement ear tips yet either. So you may have to find third party ear tips if you would like to get replacement ones such as if you lose yours or if they get dirty or whatever like that. But Cardis did say that the, they plan to sell them in the future. They just don't have them yet as of this video. So, you know, nice presentation, nice box. And these earbuds aren't inexpensive. They retail for $425, so you're getting a premium product here. And I do have to say, in this price range, uh, these earbuds are quite good. I'm very happy with the sound of them and the comfort of them. And I think they are better than the Logitech UE900 earbuds, which are $400. So, you know, in this price range, I think these compare, compare very favorably to more expensive uh, ear phones such as the you know jh models i think jh labs or something like that makes some earphones that are you know in-ear monitors and they're like a thousand dollars so uh, i've heard online that these compare pretty favorably uh, to those steve guttenberg uh, of cnet has written a, a review of these saying uh saying as much so anyway let's take a closer look at these earphones as you can see they're they've got a metal housing to them which makes them a little bit heavier than i might like however you know, the handle housing is kind of nice and got a real cool gold sort of look to them. And also they feel real sturdy. Let me see if I can show you one of these real close. 
All right, so this is what it looks like real close up. And it's quite a beautiful design, I must, uh, must admit. You can wear these either directly in your ears with the cord just pointing straight down, or you can wrap these around your ear, the back of your earlobe, uh, like that, like if you're doing, and then put them in that way. If you're doing activities, you know, such as sports and stuff, uh, that'll make them not, you know, come out as easily. But in general, I find these pretty comfortable and they don't really fall out of my ears, even though they're a little bit heavy. And the metal design of them makes them heavy, but also the cable itself is heavier than most uh, ear mo monitors. So the cable itself kind of pulls on them as well when you're wearing them. It's kind of a bit of a beefy cable, I'm, I have to say. But once you get used to the heft of wearing these and the heft of the cable and stuff, uh, you know, it's not a big deal. And I think any negatives with that are outweighed by the positives with these because these sound really great. And again, this is a Cardis Clear Light headphone cable, so it is a high quality cable, which is something that, you know, Cardis specializes in. The story behind these is that George Cardis was actually commissioned to make some in ear headphone cables for other manufacturers, such as Logitech and he got samples of all of the earphones from Logitech and he just really didn't like what he heard. He also didn't like the way that they felt in his ear and thought that he could do better. So he sort of embarked on a journey to design his own. And so these are the result of that. Now in terms of the sound, they have a very smooth sound with some might say rolled off treble, but in my opinion, the treble is just perfect because I really don't like harshness or sharp treble at all. And these don't have that. These have a very smooth sound that you, know, you really feel like you can listen to these for a long period of time and not have any ear strain at all. Uh, so I really like the sound signature of these. And in fact, the sound signature of these is very similar to the Odyssey headphones that I have, the Odyssey LCD2s. They sound very, very similar. So these are almost like an in-ear version of the Odysseys, in my opinion. They have great bass and wonderful, rich, smooth, and creamy mids. And I wouldn't really say that the highs are actually rolled off. They're just not accentuated like some earbuds tend to do. Uh, but, you know, when they accentuate the highs, yes, they might resolve a little bit better technically. They tend to sound really harsh and lend themselves to ear strain. And then you can't listen to them for a long periods of time very comfortably. And you end up kind of just getting fatigue, you know, listening fatigue with them. That's not the case with these at all. Um, you can listen to these uh, for quite a long time and not experience any listening fatigue whatsoever. So again, I just really dig the sound of these. Um, they're just great to listen to, and it's a sound that really matches uh, my listening preference in terms of it being kind of smooth and laid back and rich. Uh, the sound stage on them is quite good, quite nice, and again, I really appreciate the bass response of these as well. They can be considered bassy uh, earphones. And from what I've read online, these do compare very favorably to the comparably priced Logitech UE900 uh, earphones. Those are like $400, yet they sound thinner than these. Those have sort of a mid-range hole or, you know, V-shaped response curve. Uh, not so with these. These sound much richer and more fun to listen to. They have better bass and also... Uh, you know, might be a little bit more comfortable depending on your ear. Um, these are probably a little bit heavier though because of the metal construction as well as the slightly beefier cable uh, than what you might be used to for earphones. However, the sound of these uh, I think really is a big plus. Now these sound pretty great directly out of an iPhone or iPod. You know, they're quite efficient and can be driven directly out of an iDevice or an Android device perfectly well. However, they do benefit from a bit of a headphone amplification. So if you've got a little portable headphone amplifier, uh, these will actually start to shine a bit more and pr provide a much better sound uh, using headphone amplification. However, it's not absolutely necessary. The fit and finish of these is quite impressive, I have to say. And again, this cable is a, I would say, better cable than most in-ear monitors uh, come with. It's not replaceable or anything like that, but you know, it's a good cable that you won't ever really have to replace. Again, it's a Cardis clear light cable, so it's a very high quality cable. As you can see, the 
connector end has a right angle and it uh, seems to plug directly into my iPhone uh, that's in a case perfectly well so no issues there and then it's got this built-in bit of velcro here so you can wrap it up with it uh, as well it also has this sort of sleeve that can kind of move up and down the bottom of the cable here and that's the serial number uh, of the uh, earphones so all in all I have to say I'm quite impressed by these new Cardis ear speakers they sound just wonderful, and I think they're worth the price, even though it might sound a little expensive at retail $425. When you compare it to the competition in that same price range, I think these really win out. These Cardises just have a better sound than the comparably priced Logitech UE900s. And in fact, I think the sound of these actually will rival more expensive earphones, even in the $1,000 range. While I think some of the stuff that they say about designing these to mirror the human ear might be kind of hype, on the other hand, these do sound very good and are probably the best in-ear earphones that I have heard to date. So maybe there is some truth to the marketing hype. These produce a nice, lush, smooth sound that really seems to agree with my ears and my hearing. And thanks for watching this look of the Cardis Ear Speakers model EM5813. As always, if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them, and I'll see you in my next video.